Hello, I just wanted to check in. It was a good day today. I started out by sleeping in. <laughs> I needed it. And then I went to the spa at, I believe it was 10. The spa is here. It's, it's like a walk-in tub with bubbles. So it's like a jacuzzi kind of like, but it was nice. And then at two o'clock we had Chuck, who is an Elvis impersonator, come and he he performs in Vegas and different places in Laughlin and he's performed all over the United States. He's a really good Elvis impersonator. And he came to to our where I live in the assisted living and it was great. And I I remember him from when I went to the day center. I haven't seen him for a year. He recognized me, he remembered I was the crazy purple haired lady. <laughs> but it was fun uh, back, the last time I saw him was over a year ago and I believe my husband was with me. So when he was singing at the end, he was, he was singing two songs. One was, was a uh, spiritual song that Elvis sang and I can't remember the the name of it at this moment. And then one about memories. It wasn't memories, but it was it had the word memories in it. And I just sobbed and cried, but that's all right. And, he, and, he, and uh, afterwards he said, I'm sorry, I didn't want to make you cry. And I just told him that it, it besides the fact he, he sang it beautiful and I was touched also because I missed my husband and he remembered Phil when Phil was there with me and you know he he said he was sorry to hear that and everything but um, it just uh, was a nice day today and I don't have too much to to really say too much right now I don't think I'm like I don't want to think though <laughs> but I just wanted to do my regular check-in I'm very grateful for today I'm grateful for every day that I wake up and sometimes you know I wake up and I'm missing my husband and I uh, I share about this openly for people that are going through similar situations of of losing a loved one or a husband or a wife or a child or it, it's not easy to go through and it's life and we're all gonna go and we don't know when our time is going to be and that's why I think it's so important for us to let our loved ones and our friends know that we care. Because you just don't know when the last time we're gonna see each other and I don't wanna be, uh, make it a negative situation, but it's true. And I don't know, I, I'm feeling better today. Uh, yesterday was a good day too, I have my, my moments of missing Phil every day and my moments of tears every day. But I also have joy today and I'm not, I don't feel guilty to feel joy anymore. There were times I was feeling guilty to feel at peace because my husband isn't here. But I know that's what he wants me to feel is peace. And I'm just truly grateful that, that God is giving me that peace. And that peace is stronger than I've ever felt it. I believe it's because Phil is watching over me and letting me experience the peace that he's feeling. And I believe that. And there was a time when my sponsor, well, I've had a few sponsors pass, but one in particular, Doris Wells in 2001, I felt a peace that was really strong and at that time it was the strongest peace I've ever felt and it was after she died and I believe it was her letting me know she's okay and that she did come to me in a dream and I've shared that before and Phil's come to me many times. I believe our loved ones, our friends, our family members, uh, people that, you, that are close to, to us are watching over us. I believe that. And I believe that when people pass on, the soul is connected to our soul. And I believe that the soul, like Phil now, because he has passed on, his soul is 
can can how do you say it latch on to my soul I'm human so I don't always see that or realize it but every once in a while I get that feeling that gut feeling in here and I just know he's there and I felt it today actually when Elvis when Chuck was singing Elvis songs I felt his presence I really did and some people I've talked to say they've felt that so they know what I'm saying uh, before I ever felt that I didn't know I didn't know I didn't understand it until I started to feel it and experience it but I believe that our loved ones the ones that that we care about that have passed away uh, I believe that they're here and they're watching over us and that's what makes me feel more comfortable about my husband's death and I guess when I die I'll find out the truth but right now I just consider it that that Phil's watching over me and that I know he wants me to be in peace I know that I miss the meditations that Phil and I used to do but I'm doing them and uh, I'm doing them stronger and I would say more often and that helps me feel the peace stronger because I'm just doing it more and the more I do it the stronger I start feeling it's like God is doing for me what I cannot do for myself. It's just a beautiful feeling. And at nighttime, it's always the hardest for me. I, I don't know why, because my head just takes me a lot of places, I guess. But I just wanted to get on and check in, and, and I wish you all a great night. God bless. <laughs>